Earlier it was, it was difficult. I always had to have the idea, here I really have something with a special cinematographic approach which would lead to an interesting form or so. And uh, luckily in the last 10 or some years or more years, um, I no longer uh, have these high aspirations. Uh, it's still the case that when I when something interests me, I try to, I try to find out how could one work with it. How do I find the means to make it? In which format? In which length? Uh, what should it uh, point out mainly? Also, but luckily I'm free enough now that if the the project changes and uh, it turns out that you can't do it in this way, you have to do it in a totally different way. I'm free to to change uh, uh, the the plan. So. Uh, in the case of many projects in the last years, they, they totally changed from, from the first idea or approach to what I rea really realized. And now the opposite, uh, the opposite happened. Uh, the most recent work, which will premiere in this Paris exhibition soon in Jeu de Paum, that was really that my friend and assistant uh, collaborator, Matthias, sent me a, a clip from a newspaper and then we had the idea that one should try to, to, to film it in a special way. The special way was that um, the Americans have the so-called immer <coughs> Im immersion uh, therapy, which means that traumatized soldiers from the Iraq or Afghanistan war theater, they have to repeat the experience, to, to retell it, and uh, to, to, to kindle their memory, you show them animated images of, of the war scene. And that's an interesting, this looks like a video game also. And all these explosions can be set up by the therapist and even the smell of burnt rubber or burnt hair can be recreated in the space. And um, this uh, uh, is a little bit like these films from the 40s in Hitchcock where he always talks about people like the Paradigm case or so there trauma has to be recovered and if you get back to it then you can restart and erase it also. It's a bit mechani mechanistic uh, 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 approach also. So we had the idea we, we should find a seminar in which uh, uh, therapists uh, instruct other therapists how to work with these means and hopefully in role games and it turned out exactly this way. We flew to America, we found such a seminar and uh, there was a brilliant role game in which they played this scenario and uh, we filmed it and it turned out in the way we had imagined it to do. Th this is the biggest miracle <laughs> uh, Usually it doesn't work this way, they are not good actors or it's boring or you can't understand what you want to show or whatever and you have to change the strategy but in this case we really could film it from our from the intention paper. I only found out that it's good for me to to have some reflection and if you write a text you are forced to to be more precise than just talking about it or thinking about it and therefore it's sometimes helpful to elaborate something. I mainly do it not so often. That's only once a year for Trafic I write something uh, about my projects or my experiences or so. And uh, uh, so that is uh, uh, one main impulse. Luckily I'm, I, I'm, I have a teaching position where I do exactly what I, I prefer to do, which means to, to watch films by others closely, to watch them over days or so. And we, we also watched Landsmann closely also for many, many days and hours and uh, looked at the structure and uh, 
the sing singular shots and so on and uh, try to analyze them and uh, also along the lines of uh, 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 images after all, l'image malgré tout. So uh, this is a little bit like having this continuous experience of some reflection too also because uh, this is what I learned somehow from from uh, the Nouvelle Vague that one has to not only to make films but also to discuss films, to think about films, to comment on them. Oh yeah, we, are, we are exchanging images and the idea that an image belongs to, a, to an author or to a company is a bit strange and therefore we have this, this black market like the internet or so where so many things are traded which do not belong to the people who are who are delivering them or <laughs> proliferating the images also because it's uh, uh, it has changed in a way uh, 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 you can't pay the publisher whenever you quote uh, Foucault but you have to pay the archives every time you use uh, an, an image also it's this is strange they have no simple solution to it so uh, people live from royalties and produce those royalties and so on. So one can't say uh, cut it off also. Uh, I think that uh, um, state-funded archives should only ask for technical costs. And uh, uh, So in, the, in America, for instance, you have uh, in Washington two wonderful archives, uh, the Library of Congress and the uh, uh, National Archives, and there you get everything, whatever they have, for free, you only have to pay for the technical costs, like dubbing it, uh, tr the transfer to a beta tape or whatever. And I think that's how it should be, a little bit like a public library. Uh, um, because um, there are all these dealers selling footage from the Second World War, <laughs> or whatever, or from concentration camps, and somehow that's also a little bit obscene that, uh, that you are making money out of selling these images, yes. uh, they have not produced them, the people who are selling them.